Hello everyone, welcome to Codus Camp. And today we are going to cover another interesting problem, generate random point in a circle. So we are given an input of radius of the circle and x and y position, which is actually the center coordinates of a circle. And we have to return any two random points that is on the circumference of the circle. So now let's understand this problem with an example. According to a first example given in the problem statement, the radius of the circle was 1 and the center of the circle was 0, 0. And now imagine we are drawing a circle on a graph. And the graph coordinates goes from minus max value to infinity and y axis goes minus infinity to infinity. So now center of our circle is 0, 0. So now the radius given here is 1, so it will go 1 in all four sides. And the circle will be like this. And now you have to return any x, y coordinate or any random point on the circumference of the circle as their output. So here in this example, the x and y coordinate given as is 5, minus 7.5, which is actually the center of the circle. So in this case, the center of the circle lies somewhere between here. So let's consider the center is here. So the radius given is 10. So in this case, from the center, it goes 10 units in all direction. So if it goes 10 units in all direction, starting from the center towards down, it is going to be minus 7.5. So it goes 2.5 more from here. So if it goes more 2.5, it will be having plus 2.5. The same way from the center, it goes plus 10 upwards. So if it goes plus 10 upwards, it is going to be minus 17.5. And the same way in x axis, if it goes 10 plus 5, so far from 0 it is 5, it is the center, so from center it go, the radius is 10, so 5 plus 10 is going to be 15, the same way from center it goes this way plus 10 and it is going to be minus 5. So this actually forms the circle and the x coordinates are going to be minus 5 comma 15 and y coordinate is going to be minus 17.5 2.5. So here our random point should be from the range minus 5 to 15 and minus 17.5 to 2.5. So how are we determining this range of our outputs? That is by adding the radius plus and minus to the given center. So from center it travels radius times in all direction. So once our random points are calculated, we are going to check every time whether it is placed on the circumference or inside the range of the radius. If that is the case, we are going to send the output. So let's check the code now. So yes, inside our constructor, they are passing the inputs, radius, x and y coordinate of the center of the circle. So we are going to have our variables r, x, and y to represent y, x coordinates of the given circle and the radius of the given circle. So inside our constructor, we are assigning the values. So now we have assigned the values at inside our constructor and in random point, we are going to calculate the range of our x and y coordinate. So as I said, our range is going to be in between x minus r, that is with x and y coordinate, we are going to do plus and minus of radius. The same way maximum of x range is going to be x plus r. 
and minimum range of y is going to be y minus r and maximum range of y is going to be y plus r. So now we have calculated the range in which our result is going to be. So now let's declare a double array result of size 2 where we are going to save our result. So now it's time to calculate the random points. The result of 0 is going to hold the x value. So now that we have calculated our random points, we are going to simply return the result array. But there is one condition given that a point on the circumference of the circle is considered to be in the circle. So to do that, we are going to check the generated random points are in the circle. So to check that there is a formula that is square root of x square plus y square. So this will be represented like something like this in a 3D graph. If you are drawing a circle instead of a parabola here, your point should be on the circumference of the circle. So to calculate whether it is on the circumference, you have to use the formula square root of x square plus y square is equal to radius or not. So in other ways, you can tell radius square is equal to x square plus y square. So we are going to check So using this formula, we are calculating every time the newly generated random points are on the circumference of the circle. If not, this loop is going to uh, iterate until the random points are generated on the circumference of the circle and save it in our array. And finally, return the result. Now let's run. You can find this code in my description. So yes, a solution is accepted. And thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, hit like and subscribe. Thank you.